Hola! <laughs> Welcome to the Dream Unlocked. I'm April Yvette Thompson, the CEO of the Dream Unlocked Coaching. It's boutique coaching for actors, writers, and dreamers. And each Saturday I've been coming on and talking about how to start your own business on this page, the Dreaming Out Loud, Find Your Purpose, Find Your Joy, and Start Living It uh, page. Um, in the last video, we talked about some great stuff. If you haven't seen it, it's on this page. You should go and watch it. Uh, you should sign up for the free mini course. The link is here, thedreamunlock.com, D-O-L dash mini course, all in word. Um, or you can just go to thedreamunlock.com and sign up for the Dreaming Out Loud technique. And you can get all of the videos. So, online business, online startup. What's this 2019 gonna look like for you? And how I wanna start is wherever you're sitting, wherever you are right now, take out your phone, take out a pen and a piece of paper, and I want you to brag to me for a minute. You can even write it in the comments here about something you did in 2018 that you're really proud of. Just one thing, or it can be two things. Something that you set out to do and you accomplished in 2018. And the reason that I'm asking you to write this, I would love to see it in the comments so that we can all applaud you on, is that before you can make something new, hi April, April in April, before you can start something new, I have this crazy one hair, okay, it's driving me crazy. Okay, before you can start something new, right, that's your own creation, you actually have to be aware of the fact that you can create something and change something in your life, right? You actually have to be aware of the fact that you can create change, okay? And the proof of that is to start taking inventory of ways that you've already made change in your life. And that's why I ask you to write down, just brag, you do it in the comments. Brag to me about something you've done in 2018. Something you set out to do, right? Because in the past videos, I've been outlining, you take this step and you take this step and you take this step. Sometimes people saying, I want my own business. I want passive income. I want to quit my day job. Sometimes that is, sometimes that's actually about, I'm afraid I can't make change in my life. So before you say, I'm going to make change, take inventory of the ways that you already have so that you become aware of your power of transformation. You actually have the power to change your life in small ways and big ways. And lots of small changes are what create the total life transformation, right? You don't just jump up one day and be like, I'm quit my day job and now I got this own my own business and it's making me an income. No, you take baby steps towards that so you don't feel overwhelmed. And I, as a person that deals with anxiety, uh, easily become overwhelmed. So I have learned to, to break down tasks into tiny little bits and do a little each day so that I don't feel overwhelmed. But then at the end of the year, 10 minutes each day working on something, at the end of the year, how many hours is that? Have you done? Okay, I'm really bad at math. Is that like an hour and 10 minutes a week? There's 350 days. Okay, you know. That's three months of, of full-time work that you've put in, even if it's 10 minutes a day, okay? So that's the first thing when it comes to an online business. And I know that there are thousands of coaches. I go on Instagram, I go on Facebook, I see the ads. There are thousands of coaches teaching you how to do this. When I decided to do it, there were thousands of coaches teaching me, and I was overwhelmed by the acronyms. ATM, CTR, I was like, uh, uh, what? I needed a simple way in. I needed to make a change in my life that built on what I already had, not to just jump out there and learn something new that was overwhelming. I bought courses from the big books, you know, Frank Kern, Dallas Roberts, and I was like, I'm overwhelmed with this. This is too much. These are spreadsheets and I just want to teach. So then I went back to what I was already doing, talking about what I knew. It's really just that simple. Talk about what you know, right? Our society is driven by information anymore. You're not going to get a factory job anymore. What people are selling is information and ideas. And if you can sell somebody on the information and the ideas, then you can make them buy the book or you can make them buy the outfit, 
right? Beyonce is selling us. You could be fabulous in black women. Look out. And you could be sexy. She's selling us the idea, which is why we go and buy the albums. She's selling us the idea that you can be your own self-made fabulous woman by her career, by her power marriage, by her baby. She's selling us the idea of what is possible. That's what American culture is all about. And it's definitely where money making is about right now because we have the internet and guess what? It's free, right? So last time we talked about finding out what it is your customer wants to do. And this doesn't have to be a survey. This doesn't have to be some formalized thing that you do. I'll give you an example. November 2017, I took a trip to Morocco, which resulted in me moving to Morocco, where I live now, in Marrakesh. That's another story. But it is about transformation. So I took this vacation, and I didn't come to this vacation expecting to make it into something. I came on this vacation to listen to what the world had to say to me because my heart had always wanted to visit this place. So I gave over to it. I didn't try to make things happen. I didn't constantly ask questions. I just listened to the experience around me. And here's what I learned as I traveled from city to city. It was a 17 day vacation. And it was about a cultural immersion. It was about learning about people who live in villages and small towns and big cities. It was about ruins. It was about meeting merchants and craftsmen who've been practicing the same thing since the 12th century and learning about what they already do. It was about meeting guys who were in their early 20s who had bought two camels and were now running a camel business in the Sahara where they rented out camels for excursions and they're 20 years old and they're on their, their iPhones in the desert, leading me around with a camel going, I have a great business. Can I take a picture of you in Instagram? Now you gotta get, this guy is wearing a robe that's a Berber robe that the Berbers have been wearing in the desert in Sahara since the 12th century. He has a robe like that now. He has a camel and he's riding me on the camel and he has his iPhone or here it's Oppo, which is a Japanese make that's like a knockoff of iPhone. Everybody has an Oppo. So he's on his Oppo phone <laughs> posting on Instagram about his business. He's running his business of renting camels from his phone and he's making a living. He has a car, he has a nice apartment in his town. Like he snow, he sandboards on his vacations. Like he rents out his camels. Like having a camel in the tourism business here is like having a car that you rent out. So people rent out their camels, they staple them, they pay somebody to staple them and they rent them out. This guy's like 21 Rashid. He's running a business from his phone. And so I listened to him as I'm riding the camel. And he was like, yeah, I have Instagram and, you know, I've been getting clients, you know, a lot of people from Australia, but he's like, I, I, I want, I want to have more activities. I want it to be a whole experience that people have. It's like, oh, it's really like Airbnb. You can buy experiences. He's like, yes. Right. So he takes people, he takes people camping in the desert. That's his gig. He doesn't do it every single day because he rents his camels out to other people he's found on Instagram who are doing the same thing. So he rents his camels out to them so he can take days off. Right? He works there four days a week. Right? He's in school, he's writing, he's playing his band the rest of the time. I was like, this is amazing. This guy is genius. And he's like, can I take a picture? And what's your Instagram? And we can cross post. And as I traveled through Morocco and I started listening, everyone was, was everyone was an entrepreneur of sorts because there's 50% unemployment in this country, right? There's not a ton of industry. So if you're going to survive, you're going to make your own business. The other business that I found really interesting was women's cooperatives where they made Argan oil. And everywhere I went, those women had websites where they had Instagram accounts where they were selling what they make. They were selling the idea of Argan oil is only made in Morocco. This is the only place you can get it. And here's how you do it by hand. And they were asking me, do you have Instagram? Did you see my Instagram? What do you think? Can you post? And I was like, they're running online businesses and they're asking me about how to make Instagram more effective, which is actually wherever I went, right? We were doing a lot of service oriented things 
camel riding, camping, hiking, going to a pottery crafts artisanal workshop. We went to a leather factory. We saw them make the leather. All these places had websites and all of them had Instagram accounts, even the hotels and the Riyadhs we stayed in. And everyone was obsessed with running their own business online and they generate their business online. And I was like, oh, I actually know how to do this. You know, they would go to my Instagram page and be like, oh, you have a lot of followers and you run your coaching business. I was like, show me how to do that. So I turned that into an opportunity. I created a retreat for women from America and women here in Morocco who ran cooperatives of their own to talk about women, the American women would come here and get immersed and then get to know Moroccan women who are entrepreneurs. Something that is far more of a foreign concept to us here in the United States that you can run your own business than it is here in Africa. Everybody was an entrepreneur of sorts, everyone. Even if you just run a restaurant and you have a cousin that has a car service that takes tourists on excursions, you're now an entrepreneur. Everybody was on Travelocity, everybody was on TripAdvisor, everybody had an Instagram, everybody has a website. I was like, they're running online businesses. There's a, there's a service that I can provide here. How to monetize Instagram, how to monetize your videos. That's how I ended up having an online business here in Morocco. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I just answered people's questions. And in the last video, that's what we talked about. Find out what it is that people want to know that you know something about. And in the last video, it was send out an email list, send out an email, do a Facebook post that says, what are your two biggest questions about how to post on Instagram and get followers? What are your two biggest questions? I do my own hair, right? Everywhere I travel in Morocco, Senegalese women were asking me about my hair. And there, what are your two biggest questions about lock extensions? What are your two biggest questions about natural hair in the heat, right? Every question that I got, I was taking notice, right? And so part of it is becoming a successful entrepreneur is for you to get curious about what it is people want to learn more about. Because inevitably, it's something that you know how to do. It is. It's something that you know how to do. And the last two assignments, I told you to take an inventory of your Facebook posts, your Twitters, your, your tweets, your uh, Instagram, your, and find out what interests you, what you're talking about, and what people ask you about. Because see, that's what you're an expert at. And that's how you get clients. You speak about what you know. Now, I'm a Capricorn, and everybody's like, hey, you know everything. I was like, actually, I don't. There's a lot of shit I don't know anything about. I'm terrible with numbers, terrible with taxes, terrible with economics, terrible with investments, whatever. Because you're never going to hear me talking about that. What you are going to hear me talking about is what I'm passionate about and what I've done successfully, like braid my own hair. It's just that simple. Give myself my own pedicure. There are people with a million followers on YouTube selling that. Uh, I know how to play guitar. I'm going to play, I'm going to teach guitar online on Facebook, on Facebook Live. I have a client who's doing that. He's like, I'm going to, I want to monetize you know, the fact that I know how to play the guitar. I know how to write grants, right? I help a lot of my clients. When I used to do coaching just for graduate school, I would coach just in your statement and your application because that's something I did successfully, right? I applied to a bunch of graduate schools. I got in. So I actually know something about how to write a great application for graduate school, right? So early on in my coaching, I did tons of coaching. I just talked about my experience of doing that. You know something. You know how to cook something. You know, there are people who teach cooking here in Morocco. How do they teach cooking? They show you meals that they've cooked on Instagram. And then people, when they visit Morocco, they sign up for their classes, right? I brought 13 women together a couple of weeks ago in November to Morocco, and they took a cooking class. And they went to an argan oil cooperative, right? People sell what they know. What is it that you know? Do you know how to knit? Do you know how to write grants? Do you know how to do hair? Have you grown your hair? Like, this is big on Instagram. I mean, how I learned to do my own hair and take care of it, I honestly, was on YouTube. I follow Jaleesa Moses. Her videos are amazing. They're amazing. She just talks about what's worked well for her hair. And she has uh, almost a million followers and she has sponsors. Just because she speaks with authority uh, and responds to the questions that people ask her. And that's what we covered in the last video. 
ask people what are your two biggest questions about? What are your two biggest questions about how to run an online business? How do you figure out what it is that you're going to sell? Now, I have an answer for that. In the link here to the video, you'll see it's dreamunlock.com slash D-O-L, dreaming out loud is what that stands for, D-O-L dash mini course, okay? I want you to go to that link and I want you to take the free mini course. It's three short videos from my TED Talk and each video is like in between eight and nine minutes. You listen to the video, you follow the directions, and then underneath there's a little workbook. You click download workbook, you download the workbook, and you fill out the answers that you learned from that class, right? And then you, it gives you the link to, okay, video number two, do the same thing, video number three. At the end, you'll have six completed workbooks. At the end of that, you can send me those workbooks, okay? And what those workbooks are about are about what you're dreaming about, what you love to do, and helping you put it into a language that's really concrete so you can start marketing this business that you want to have. Because really the first step in starting an online business is knowing what it is that you're great at and what you love to do. That's why you want an online business. You want passive income, but you also want to quit your day job because it's not what you love to do. An online business should be about what you love to do, what's easy, what you've mastered. That's what makes it so fulfilling, right? You're fulfilling your own purpose, right? You are selling what you've done well, right? It's a healing sort of thing and it should be easy, right? So you're gonna take this mini course and you're gonna send me those worksheets. At the end of January, we're gonna have a class. But between now and then, I'm gonna keep giving you exercises. If you do these worksheets, you will have a concrete plan in your head of what this new business is, what it's going to look like, and how you can start teaching your very first course with no money down. In the very first video, which is why if you sign up for this mini course and you turn in all of the workbooks, I will send you every single video that I've made. If you do every single step I've asked you in these videos, and they're really simple, you could be hosting your own class in the next two weeks. It's really simple. In the first video, I talk about how you can do that on the phone for free, or you can just do it on YouTube, or you do it on FB Live for free. Okay? It's not hard. That's the very first video. The second video tells you about how you find out what people want to learn. This video is about putting the pieces together. Okay? So I want you to take this mini course. At the end of that mini course, you're going to send me your workbooks. When you send me those workbooks, I'm then going to send you these three video tutorials that I've done on FB Live, okay, where we knock out the steps one, two, three, and you're going to put together your first free class, and you're going to tell me about it. And I'm going to walk you through it, because you're going to send me the workbooks, and then we'll give you my feedback, and I'm going to ask you questions, all right? And then you're going to go to the next class, and you're going to do the work, and then you're going to send me workbooks, and I'm going to ask you questions, right? I'm going to guide, you're going to ask me questions, I'm going to respond. The more questions you ask me, the more I can tailor these videos to you. I will be doing these videos every Saturday through the end of January. So, have on board, okay? I want your first class ready, rip roaring to go the second week in January. If you do this mini course, if you turn in the work, you ask me the questions and you allow me to answer and guide you through the process, I promise you, you will have that first class up and going. You'll be on your way, okay, to your first class. And to, for me to tell you how this works, how I know this works, is because in 2010, I did the same thing. I picked a couple of books and I asked a coach to break it down for me into simple terms. And she was like, do your three videos for free, then do a free class. And at the end of the free class, tell people your little class that you've recorded. And the, well, I said, what would the class be that I recorded? The class that you recorded will be the answers to the questions that they've asked you. So you're selling people what they want, right? In a language that you understand and they understand. That's what I did. I did it. I sold 26 spots in my first class. It's totally possible. It's totally possible. I sold 26 spots and then the people who bought the spots then bought my next class. So that crap that people tell you about, oh, you don't make any money from your business in the first year, that's bullshit. Now, I will also say that if you go online to all these coaches, they're like, I made $100,000 in my second thing. And I was like, that's also bullshit. 
because they're not telling you what their overhead was. They're not telling you that they spent $60,000 in advertising. They're not telling you that they hired 15 people to help them do it, right? It's not easy peasy like, oh, you're gonna make a million dollars. But I will tell you, I spent $6,000 to set up my business, all right? That was the infrastructure to hire somebody, help me do the website, hire a coach, whatever, whatever, okay? $6,000. Within three months, I had made that $6,000 back plus another 20. By the end of the year, I had done my first online business by myself, put down $6,000, and I made $40,000 profit. This was something I was working on a couple hours a day, right? So that crap where people are telling you, oh, you don't make it the first year, that's not true. If you start small, you keep costs down and you connect and you, you connect emotionally with your clients and you keep them loyal and you continue to provide value in very simple ways. I ran my business on the phone, a free conference call. I made $40,000 profit my first year. I had never run an online business before. I barely knew how to set up a website. <laughs> I barely knew how to make videos on Facebook. Like I did not know. Okay. So I listened to a simple black lady coach just like you are and who laid out the steps. And I did what other people do not. I started small and I did not focus on putting a lot of money on flash and dance. The focus was the information. And I understood who I was talking to. I was talking to actors and writers who had a day job who didn't have a lot of money for extra classes. So I created something that was doable for them, that was productive use of my time, and it made me money. $40,000 profit, that's profit, that's profit. So when you hear coaches telling you, I made 100,000 and I made 6,000 and I made half a million dollars, I say, how much did you make in profit? It's a very different question than how much money did you make, right? Because if you had to spend a half a million dollars in overhead by hiring a team in an office, you didn't make that much money. But if you keep it small and personal, the way my coaching practice has gone, you make the profit. It's not rocket science. I swear it's not. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions for me? Any questions? All right. I will be back here next week, same time, same bat channel. And I will respond to questions that I get from the surveys about creating passive income. So today we talked about taking the mini course. And that's going to help you figure out what this business is going to be about. Last week, we talked about how you create that first post, find out what people want, right? And then how you learn to answer them in their language, okay? Next week, we're going to talk about the first free class that you set up for them, okay? Right? So you're going to, we're going to walk into, we're going to talk about the steps right before the free class because the free class that you create for them is where you sell them your paid class. All right, and it's going to be moderately priced just so you can begin to gauge interest. But I promise you this, that first class, all the time and energy you've put in to creating it, you will make at least that amount of money back, all right? So you're never operating in a deficit, which is going to make you money. And once you record them, it's going to make you passive income, meaning money while you sleep. Okay. If you have questions, put them down in the comments, sign up, take the mini course, send me your worksheets and ask me your questions. Okay. You are getting a once in a lifetime opportunity to get tons of free coaching for me. My hourly rate is $500 an hour. So most of you don't want or have that to spend. This is the time to get free coaching. Take advantage of it. Take the mini course, send me the workbooks, ask me the questions and I'll respond. Love you, mean it. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week, same time, same place, same bat channel. Love you. Bye.